Hi, it's Amy from Prana and Patchouli. Welcome to this quick tutorial for one of my all-time favorite poses, Legs Up the Wall or Viparita Karani. You'll want to have a clear wall space, although if you don't have that, you can always do this against furniture. You can grab a chair and drape your shins over the edge of the chair, your sofa, even your bed, and that works just as well. Have a yoga mat if the space that you're lying down on isn't soft. And you might also want to grab a blanket or two or a towel, just something to give you some extra support. And then go ahead and slide one hip or the other right up against the edge of the wall or whatever you're using to support you. I like to have the blanket at the top of the mat or behind me when I come up just to support my head. So I'm going to show you how that works now. You can swing your legs all the way up the wall and then lower yourself down onto your back. If you're using the blanket behind your head, just make sure it's above the shoulders. So just above the tops of your shoulders and supports the head and your neck there. If there's too much of a curve in your neck, you can always fold up the edge of the blanket or the towel just to sort of sit in that curve and give you more support for your head so your whole head and neck can relax. Now you might notice here that my hips are quite far away from the wall. And if you feel like you have quite tight hamstrings, then just having the hips further away might be more comfortable, especially in your lower back. And it just allows the knees to soften and bend a little bit more. You can even bend the knees so much that you place the feet flat on the wall. Another nice way of supporting yourself if you feel this in the backs of the legs is to use your blanket and just roll it up and place it underneath your pelvis. And this will just support your lower back and your legs even more. If you want to move closer to the wall, then go ahead and shuffle your way in. Slightly awkward, but it gets easier over time. You can even have, have your hips right up against the edge of the wall and the legs can just extend and I still have space to soften the knees. But just let your feet rest against each other, your knees can fall against each other. And then place your hands somewhere on your body or beside you on the floor. And just allow yourself to relax and rest and enjoy the pose for anywhere up to 20 minutes. It's a great one to do before bed. You can even do it in bed with your legs up against the headboard or the wall. But anytime you need to press pause, I highly recommend this pose. And then when you're ready to come out, just going to walk your feet back down the wall. You might want to lift your hips and slide yourself a bit further away if you feel cramped or if you need more space. Or just roll all the way over to one side or the other. Use your hands to press your way up to sit. If you want to come into a Shavasana straight after this, it can be really nice just to recalibrate, bring everything back into balance everything nice and level and calm. Or just come into a seat, take a moment before you rush back into your day. Feel everything soften. And hopefully you feel great after you practice this. It's a, definitely a great one to put in your toolkit and return to it as often as you need to. So until next time, from my heart to yours, Namaste.